everybody and welcome back to so blessed pops and i don't know about you hope you guys had a great weekend we had a phenomenal weekend uh uh started feeling better went and saw venom the last dance absolutely loved it uh we'll probably be going again uh soon and take the boys out to watch it um then we also uh did some just collectible hunting and did some other stuff this weekend and uh man all I gotta say is everything was coming up so blessed pops. So let's dive into it. Let's check out the awesome stuff that we picked up. Let's go. Hey buddy, this is Larry. This is Ryan. This is Zoe. This is Trent. And this it's is so, so blessed pops. pops. Alright, like I said, everything was coming up so blessed pops this weekend. Super excited about it. Uh started off is that we sold a uh a bunch of our extras uh, to help kind of fund our future uh, extravagandas here at So Blessed Pops. Uh, just getting some more, getting rid of some collections that we don't uh, collect. A lot of mystery box stuff that we got and stuff that we've collected over the last couple of years. Because there's a bunch of new stuff coming out and we were so excited. Uh, what we found out or found this weekend. So uh, first thing is uh, there's a couple drops. That we saw on online for in-store pickups uh and this first one is a couple of our stores that we were we did plan on going to first um they posted it a couple days prior that they already had received their stock so this store was closer out of the way um but decided hey we know they have stock we know we can get there as they open and we ended up picking up was the brand new Hot Topic exclusive, uh, the advanced suit uh, symbiote uh, Spider-Man right here from Hot Topic. Saw this, knew we had to pick it up, so we made sure we got in line, picked it up, and then we didn't get one. We did end up getting two, uh, primarily because for whatever reason they wouldn't let us pick our own boxes. Uh, so I kind of just said, hey, yep, then give me two. Uh, the boxes are in terrible condition. This is by far the worst. And I want to take one out of the box. So this one's not too bad, but it does got a lot of creasing here. So we're going to open this up because I want to take a look at it. Um, from look at it, it does look amazing from the videos I have seen. And we were super excited to see this. And to add to our Venom collection. Alrighty, so here we go. And it does have that same, if you've gotten the other Spider-Man 2, the black suit. He's kind of got that same kind of matte. It looks glossy on here, but it's kind of more matte. But there we go. We have this symbiote coming over the Spider-Man. Which... I absolutely am in love with this pop. Uh, super excited to have it. Boom. Definitely super excited to have that in the collection. Then we also picked up, boom, the Anti-Venom Peter Parker. So had to pick this up. Uh, this one I think we're going to leave in for right now. Not until we find another one. So this is the full set right here. Uh, we were able to find all of them uh, except for the black suit Harry Osborn. That's the next one we're looking for because that is the uh, um, Agent Venom pop. So we're still on the hunt for that one. Uh, we did see the uh, Miles Morales one, but I'm collecting these for the Venom. I'm not collecting them for the game. But that we found in another store afterwards. And since I've already said it, might as well show it off. We have, right here, we have the screen. Now, once again, we weren't able to pick these out because they were behind the counter. Um, she does have a box crease right here. But for right now, them just being commons, I was just happy to pick them up. And that is an awesome pop. So, we just need one more to complete that line of the set because we already have um the venom and then we already have the original peter barker peter parker black suit so 
next, so this is who we got at Hot Top, another a different Hot Topic. Um, uh, we hit, we ended up hitting three different malls, so we had a lot of fun. So, at this Hot Topic, we picked up a Majin Buu magnet, uh, just because they were on the sale, buy something, get, uh, buy, was it buy one, get 30% off your next. So, I had to pick up the Majin Buu. Uh, just something cool to collect. Obviously, I love Dragon Ball Z. Boo Saga is my favorite. And we also picked up uh, five of these wafer packs. So what it is, there's a wafer in here, and there's also a card. Uh, we're going to save those for the boys because Bradley absolutely loves these things. Uh, first time I've seen these ones, usually the ones we get uh, come directly uh, from one of our friends over on Whatnot. Who goes orders them uh, and then we buy it off of him and stuff like that so this is the first time I've actually seen these in the store so we had to pick those up now next we have so this is really cool so the first one we'll show off uh, walking through Barnes & Noble just seeing what they had and walking through a lot of their anime figures stuff like that a lot of good a lot of good sales Per se, there were a lot of stuff that was 30% off, but they were still way overpriced on stuff. But ended up walking over, looked at the little pops, didn't see anything. Then I saw a little cart that said toys on it. They had a couple of pops on it. I was like, oh, I'll just take a look, see what they have. And they had right here the Sun Gohan Beast. I had to pick this up uh, mainly because I wasn't sure if I wanted this one or there's two other ones. But we ended up finding the Chase uh, sitting right in a toy cart. They had this and they had one right in front of it. And I kind of moved it to the side found that this had the Chase sticker. So super excited. Uh, and the cool thing is I was able to, the next door we went to help somebody else find uh, some Winnie the Pooh Pops that they had on that cart that they've been looking for. But there we go, Beast Gohan. I haven't checked out the Glow. But I'm pretty sure I think it's just, so you get a little bit of his face. I think the majority of it is going to be um, his little power up behind him, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that or this is a really bad glow because all I'm seeing is just his little bit of hair right there. I'll post a picture right here if I can get any more to glow. But all I'm seeing is his little wisp of hair, so... Maybe we got a bad glow chase, but we will see. Uh, the next, we were at next door at a GameStop, talked to some people, and I picked up one thing in the midst of picking this up. Uh, I noticed they were freshly stocking the pops. They had this pop sitting over there, so I messaged my, oh, up with my friends, uh, see if any of them needed it, and sure enough, one of them did. So this will be going off to uh, Bradley over at CCF, but they restocked the Davi Glow in the Dark GameStop Edition. So that was really cool. I know this one came out a while ago, and just to see them restocking it, and I was like, you know what? I know Davi's big in the My Hero world. I don't know anything really about him, but we picked him up, and I'll probably post his glow up here as well. So I'm hoping he's got a better one. Uh, the next, um, we ran, oh, well, we did some other stuff first. Then we went to Target, still on the hunt for that bullseye. And I mean, it's, it's becoming dreary. Uh, I've been finding the best way to do it is to go on the app and seeing if they have any more in stock and seeing what the numbers look like. Um, that's kind of giving me my best idea of what's in the store before I go out and buy any of them. But while there... Digging through everything, we found a bunch of the Spider-Man, um, and this was after we had just got watched and done uh, watching Venom, so I was kind of bummed, but we ended up dead finding way in the back an Eddie Brock. So this is the re-release of the Eddie Brock, uh, which, if you can tell, we have the original drop of there, um, and I also have it still sealed in the T-Bundle, and I might even have a third one, or I did at one point. But this is the new release of it. Uh, same thing, I just wanted to get it to kind of compare the glows, which 
I might do that in another video. I'm not quite sure yet, but we got him. Super excited, so we have another one. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is probably these newer ones will be out of box. And all right, so now probably the coolest thing, the thing that I got the most. Oh, we got one more thing to show off before that. Check your FYEs because they're doing some amazing sales. And I left because I saw this a long time ago, almost bought it, uh, decided not to, and then ended up going back to the store. It wasn't there anymore, kind of got bummed. Uh, this store, I ended up finding it. Said it was on sale for, I'm gonna say like 15 bucks. Super excited. Then I go back to another area and I find it on different sale, this time for five bucks. I didn't find one, but I found two of them that were listed for five bucks. Then there's a third one listed for 15. Um, so I snagged both of these because I want to see what these look like out of box and whatnot. So this is from, I believe, 2023 New York Comic Con. Um, I want to keep one sealed because especially with the Comic-Con sticker is still on the wrapper or on this protector, I want to say, which I think might be able to, this one I won't be able to save, but the other one I will be able to, it's easier to keep on. I might mess with that later. But here we go, the Captain America New York Comic-Con exclusive. Um, it is from 2023, so that's the cool thing. Now it came, this was two different ones you could have gotten. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was this and a Black Panther pin were the Marvel ones. Here we go. Uh, the protector. Nice little case. Little backstand card. And then here you go, the actual pin. Oh, whoops. Well, there we go. Absolutely love the classic Captain America. And if you notice anything different about our room, uh, we got a brand new shelf right here. This is no longer a half bookshelf. Um, it is now a full bookshelf. Uh, that was another part of us going out and signing a part of our collection so we can get more uh, shelves and stuff like that because we got another collection uh, that we needed shelves for. So there's no, we have one seal or one out and then we'll get one sealed. I'll work on getting those stickers uh, out and put right so this next thing i'm super excited about um i was not anticipating ever finding this or anything like that wasn't even on the hunt for this um i knew it was out wasn't anything i was looking for um but if you look up here let me go over here to that right there up there kind of hard to tell we have that chase spider-man uh mcfarland figure I know all, a bunch of them are out right now. We've been on the hunt for the Venom. A little bit smaller box, looking for the Venom one. Um, and there's another variant of the Venom one we're looking for. But in the midst of that, we found this one. Super excited. Uh, they had the original one, then they had this. And I was blown away when I saw it because this is a second type of edition of it. Um, there's two styles to it. So we have, we got Captain America. And if you watch my good friend, uh, Troy from ATB, uh, he's already shown this off, but we have the Captain America large scale, but it's not just Captain America. This is the Todd McFarlane signature series one. So it comes with his own autograph, uh, card to go with it. And signed by Todd McFarlane himself. 
I am super excited. Now, if I can just find the Venom one of this, I would be even more ecstatic. But knowing that I did not buy this, just on the hunch of I would find it eventually on the smaller scale. Um, not even thinking that I would actually find the autograph series one. So now we have it, it's gonna go right up here, uh, which is awesome and perfect for us getting the new shelf. So that is awesome. Signature card right there to go with it. Absolutely love with this thing. I haven't decided if I'll take it out of box or not. I'm, I'm probably gonna wait um, because I just love how it is right there. I'm so happy with that. Everything was coming up so blessed pops. We got to watch the movie. We got to do awesome pop hunt. Got to pound some really cool stuff. Got to help some friends out. Um, also went to box lunch. Uh, that's where we got the scream from, and uh, could have got ourselves in a lot of a uh, lot of trouble there just with the amount of awesome stuff they have. I'm a huge Cars fan, um, and they have a whole car section, but they also dropped a whole new Venom section. Uh, and a Venom line, and they, they're, there's some nice stuff there. Um, we did order something, we had to pre-order it, kind of. Uh, they didn't have anything we were waiting for in stock, so we're uh, gonna have it shipped to that, shipped to there so we can pick it up when it does arrive. But yeah, super awesome weekend. I'm just blown away by how much awesome and cool stuff we got. I'm so happy that we're only one of these away. Well, technically two. So we got to get the, um, oh, who is it? The, uh, I don't play the game, but it's the, oh, the Harry Osborne black suit, uh, which is the Agent Venom. We got to get that one yet. And then we got to get the winged Venom when that drops on the Funko shop. Uh, I haven't played the game. I don't have the console for it, but to get these Venom pops, absolutely happy, absolutely excited. And one step closer to completing that Venom line. I gotta be smart enough though next time is, I oh, we went to one store and I believe they have, th they had two or three of the pops that I need to complete my Venom line, but didn't have my updated list with me. So I wasn't sure. So I didn't want to pull the trigger on them. But there we go. So blessed pops hit big this weekend. Super excited. Uh, and it was just awesome. So thank you guys for stopping by watching. Um, what was your favorite pop? I'm super excited. I think I still have to go with this amazing Spider-Man. Um, but maybe of all the day, the Captain America autograph series, McFarlane is right there. That might be my top uh, awesome uh, grab from this weekend. So, hey, thank you guys for sticking around. Go see Venom The Last Dance. It is an awesome movie. Um, I will do no spoilers on it. Um, I absolutely love it. It's it's an amazing uh, part of the trilogy. I'm um, excited to see what's going on in the future uh, with the symbiotes and stuff like that. So super excited. And uh, thank you guys once again for stopping by. I'm just so excited. I gotta get back to uh, rearranging our room. Maybe. Uh, We'll do a room tour here shortly to see what we updated, um, see the other collection that's other places. So, hey, until next time, so bless pops.